Crisis hit Sri Lanka has unveiled fresh economic measures on Tuesday. The aim of the new reforms is to clinch a bailout package from the International Monetary Fund. The reforms raise tax rates and increase payout to the poor. Fresh taxes will only be introduced in the next full year budget. But the island has hiked its value added tax. It will rise from 12% to 15%. Sri Lanka has also written off farm debt for the vulnerable, especially those that have hit hard or have been hit hard by the economic crisis. This crisis can only be solved by adopting short and long-term plans. In this context, we are now adopting the short-term measures. Negotiations with the International Monetary Fund have successfully reached the final stage. Discussions on debt restructuring will be held with the main countries that provide loan assistance to our country. As you've heard from the President, talks with the IMF are in the final stage. Sri Lankan officials hope that the new budget will be followed by a, an agreement. They are expecting a loan package worth 2.3 or 2 to 3 billion dollars. Sri Lanka is battling its worst economic crisis since independence. The island nation's foreign reserves are dwindling. There is crippling shortage of essential items and Asia's fastest inflation is battering the economy. The nation's forex reserves stood at 1.82 billion US dollars in July. Meanwhile, inflation surged to a record 60.8% in the same month. The runaway inflation and mass protests forced the then-president Gotabaya Rajapaksa to flee. Now his successor, Ranil Wickremesinghe, is left to tackle its crippling economic crisis. And for more on the situation in Sri Lanka, our correspondent Dasunia Thauda has sent us this report from Colombo. Presenting the interim budget in his capacity as finance minister, President Tanil Vikramasinghe reiterated that talks between the IMF are in fact successful and will be nearing completion soon. That's not all throughout the interim budget. One of the key highlights was that the retirement age of state sector employees, which was initially extended to 65 years, has now been brought back to 60 years, adding that any and every state sector employee exceeding the age of 60 will now be compelled to retire by the 31st of December this year. Also, focus was given towards strengthening state sector infrastructure as well as ensuring food security and financial stability in this interim budget, provided that a full budget is also expected in November this year. Stay with Weon as we track the very latest from here in Colombo. Reporting for Weon World is One, I'm Dasuni Atauda. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.